Hey guys, so it's you know nighttime in the wall tent. Not much to do, so I figured we'd make a small project here. We have our fat from the uh, possum from earlier today. And so what we're going to do is just kind of render this stuff down. We're going to render it down in this pan. It's all hard and frozen now. Now with this, you want to cut as, meat, as much meat off as you possibly can. I'll probably cut that off right there. We'll put this into our pan and we'll slowly heat it up. You don't want to do this too fast because it'll catch on fire. But we'll slowly heat it up and start to melt it. And I've got this empty mini inferno tin here. And you know, this is just another use for you know a small tin like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this with the um, animal fat. We're gonna poke a hole in it, kind of take this wick around and through here, put it up through the top. And this will give you a small little candle that you can carry with you that has multiple uses because you can use this stuff to coat your tools with and things like that. Nice little small you know, container and then toss it in your pack or your haversack and you'll have a you know makeshift candle and you'll also have stuff to care for your equipment so we'll go ahead and set this on the stove right here behind me and get this thing heated up and get to rendering now you can see with this bandana it still has all that grease on it you can take that and wipe down your knife handles it's like that your knife blade keep it from rusting any tools we have we can wipe down with it just like that it's going to keep this stuff from drying out and rusting and where this rag is soaked, we can cut small slivers off this rag to use in here, and they will also burn. So there's multiple uses whenever you're dealing with different types of animal fats like that. Alrighty, so we have some of our fat rendered down. So possum is kind of a mix between a tallow and a lard. A tallow will get hard at room temperature. A lard will stay soft. Possum tallow is kind of right in the middle of that. And so it's, it's kind of a mix. Alrighty, so we're going to pull some of this stuff off you can see some of our fat and stuff we have down in there I'm gonna let it render just a just a tad more real quick while I poke a hole in this what I'm gonna do real quick is poke a hole in the top of this bad boy make sure it is wide enough to fit our wick in we're just going to use the awl on our Swiss Army knife. Make sure our wick will slide through there. Just a little bit bigger. Like that. Make sure that this is going to be able to fit through. There we go. Something else that will help kind of get the, the fat out of here is just kind of press down on the meat. What I have left now is what's called cracklings, and we'll kind of talk a little bit about that in just a second. So what we're going to do is just pour this stuff down in here, kind of get something to hold this back a little bit. Pull it through here. Take your wick and just kind of run it around in there, just like that. And then just let it cool. As we are letting our tallow cool a little bit, you can see we have this stuff left over right here. What this is, this is what's called cracklings. This is basically either skin or meat or whatever that is left over. Yes, you could eat these. I'm not. I'm not really going to eat this one because it's a possum. Uh, a lot of people eat uh, pig cracklings, but that's what this is, is just a crackling. But now, another thing with this is I've also greased my pan and seasoned the inside of my pan, so I don't have to worry about that. But like I said, this is really multifunctional and can be used for gear lube. You can use it you know, to cook with if you absolutely had to. You can use it for lighting, for a candle, for something that we already have in our kit probably, like a mini inferno tin or some sort of small tin or hemp rope you wouldn't have to use hemp rope you can reverse wrap two ply cordage from you know cotton wood or a tulip poplar or something like that and or you could also use um 
you know, some sort of 100% cotton material. It has to be a natural material like this bandana. It's easy enough. But this bandana is now soaked with grease. So now we can just use this to grease our guns down and things like that. So, like I said, this is kind of a, a mixture between tallow and lard. This won't get completely hard um, as far as the tallow from a possum, but it will work for a candle. So once we have our wick up through our tin, just close it just like that. It might take it a minute or two for it to kind of start drawing the tallow up. But as you can see, it works pretty well. All made with items this we had laying around here in the wall tent. Utilization of resources is a, is a big part of wilderness self-reliance or wilderness skills, learning how to do what you can with your resources. It creates a nice little bit of light.